Hello and welcome to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to compare two free diagramming tools that you can use to present sketches, images, those types of things to students while you're teaching either remotely or in the classroom. Now, while both products are free, they have different feature sets because they really are aimed at different audiences. We have Microsoft Whiteboard, which is designed as a traditional whiteboard with some enhancements that make it even more effective. And then we have uh, Autodesk Sketchbook, which is really an artistic drawing tool or a tool that would be used for doing technical diagrams. I like both products, especially because they're both free. Autodesk has many, many more features geared towards somebody with a technical or architectural or an artistic background, whereas Microsoft Whiteboard is really that teacher's tool that allows me to import images, import PowerPoints, and communicate with students using some visual tools. I like them both. Let's go have a look at both of them and see which one you might use in your classroom. So for the purposes of this demonstration, over here I have the Microsoft Whiteboard and over on this side here I have the Autodesk Sketchbook. So you can see here that just on the very surface, the Whiteboard environment, it's a much cleaner surface. You can see on Sketchbook that I have a huge array of tools. I have a huge uh, pen palette here and then down below I can actually go in and I can select from many more tools in terms of things like uh, symmetry. This is a very cool feature, the symmetry. Draws a line across here and anything I draw on one side will be mimicked on the other. I can also do symmetry going the other direction and now everything will be mimicked on both. That's actually uh, having both of the surfaces on. I can turn them both off as well and now I'm back to regular sketching. But you know these are really drawing tools. So I have a number of drawing tools in here. I have a number of brushes that I can select from. I have a number of color palettes I can select from. I have a whole bunch of different uh, you know things like um, the ability to draw a rectangle around some of my objects and then delete them or modify them. The ability to move, rotate, scale, crop, cut, uh, you know, use the lasso and all sorts of stuff. I can go in and create a fresh diagram as well. I won't save the old diagram. One of the things we can do here in the sketchbook is I can go in here and if I, I've got the lasso on right now. So I'll just take the lasso off. I don't know why I put that on. Where are we here? Take the lasso off. And um, so just turn that off by the palette up here. Okie dokie, we'll just go back. <laughs> so one of the things that I do, I'm not an artist, so I should state that immediately. So when it comes to things like the sketchbook program, um, this would be fantastic for anybody who does architectural drawings, anybody who is an artist, anyone that needs to do technical diagrams. And it's now free. Both of these programs are free. Microsoft Whiteboard comes from Microsoft for free and Autodesk has now made their sketchbook program free. So this is very, very handy for, for anybody. So we can now share these out to our students and then depending on the type of diagramming that we're comfortable doing, we can use one or the other. So this is a very, very robust diagramming tool. You'll notice over here, I'm very limited. So for example, here with the Microsoft uh, whiteboard, if I wanted to go and do something like draw a triangle or something, I can come in, I could, you know, draw a line. I could then grab the ruler, rotate it a whole bunch, grab the perspective there. I could rotate the ruler a whole bunch, move it to where I need it to be. Uh, so on and so forth. However, it's not going to be anywhere near as robust as the tools that I have here in the sketchbook where I have things like a French curve, I have an ellipse, I have a ruler. You also have perspective guides in there and there's a whole number of perspective guides that you can have. Just turn those off. So again, much more full featured over here and maybe a few less features in here. That being said, unless you're an artist that can take advantage of these features, you're not going to really be able to benefit from them. In fact, in that regard, I do think that the Microsoft Whiteboard, in its simplicity, is probably a, a little bit better of a teaching tool for myself. That, that being said, I go into something like the Microsoft Whiteboard insertion menus, and this is where Microsoft really takes off, um, becomes much better than the sketchbook from a teaching perspective. So here's my technical diagram, here's my teaching, because things like posting in a quick note here, 
you can't really do that in the world of the, the sketchbook. What you can do over in the sketchbook if I want to is I can insert some text and I could put a quick note here. So you, you, you can certainly put text in there. And if I go and put that and say okay to that, it'll actually insert that text into the, the sketchbook. And uh, so it adds it in as a text layer. So I'll just drag that over, take a few seconds to, to pop in there. And that's just something that I've been noticing on my system is that the, the insertion of text has been taking a little while. So that's not very effective for me either. So there we go, it's, it's popped out and, and that, that uh, text would normally be inserted. So a little bit of a glitch there that you see live. But uh, again, if I put in the text and I try to insert it, that's a little bit glitchy for me right now. Whereas over here in the Microsoft world, it seems to be working just fine. The other thing that I can do very quickly in Microsoft is I can put in images from the a library, from the Bing image, from a camera, many image options. Now I have entire videos on the Microsoft whiteboard and how to use all these features, but I just wanted in this video to kind of show you that they're not comparable in that regard. I can go in and this is really where I, from a teaching perspective, I think that the Microsoft whiteboard uh, is excels. And notice the quick note just showed up. So it took a while in my case. You can test it on your system, but I found that is consistent in my environment that inserting those quick notes was a bit cumbersome. Here in the insertion menu, this is something that just simply isn't possible in Sketchbook where I can insert things like uh, PDF documents that I can then mark up, Word documents, PowerPoint slides that I can then write on and mark up. And again, the actual mechanics of using these I have in some other videos. So this quick little video, I just wanted to compare two free products that I could use, the Microsoft Whiteboard, which has less features, but has some features that are specifically very, very handy for teaching, and the Sketchbook, which is a far better diagramming tool than the Microsoft Whiteboard, if you know how to do diagrams, if you do know how to do drawing. So both free products are available, both can be shared out in a Teams meeting, or with uh, students. Microsoft Whiteboard does give you the advantage of being to sh uh, able to share directly from the whiteboard itself, and you can share with any of the contacts that are part of your organization, and you can even invite people through a link to share with the whiteboard with you, whereas Sketchbook isn't really designed for that purpose, so there's no real sharing function. So for those of you that were wondering, uh, is there a more robust way of doing diagrams in the world of uh, whiteboarding? It's referred to as sketch pads, and yes, there is. Autodesk Sketchbook. For those of you that want to just use Microsoft Whiteboard, check some of my other videos out on that. So there you have the comparison between the two. I'm a little bit more of a Microsoft Whiteboard user just because I do not have the technical skills and the drawing skills to take advantage of what the sketchbook offers. Plus, I need to be able to import PDFs, PowerPoints, and images into my Whiteboard environment and share it out so that I can have uh, students see and participate in that Whiteboard experience. So really different products for different purposes. Now, if you're super talented, maybe you draw something really nicely in the sketchbook and then you use that as an image that you import into the Microsoft Whiteboard. That would be a great use case. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below, which tool do you use? Do you use them both, one or the other? Are you planning on using one or the other and why? If you'd like to get more tips and tricks just like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit like if this video was useful for you. And like I mentioned, comment down below if you want to participate in a discussion around these tools. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.